we must decriminalize sex work. Sex work is real work. Transgender people are up to three and a half times more likely to live in extreme poverty. And one in five transgender Americans have faced homelessness. These numbers come from the National Center for Transgender Equality. Even if we can be resilient through the other barriers, it does not mean that it is possible to also afford our transitions. Medically transitioning is life-saving. Thus, many transgender individuals are willing to do whatever it takes in order to afford our transitions. According to the 2015 U.S. Trans Survey, of almost 28,000 transgender people, 20% of transgender Americans have at some point in their life done sex work. Many forms of sex work, however, is deemed illegal. Sex workers face a higher rate of violence because their clients often assume that they can get away with robbing them, assaulting them, etc. They take full advantage of the fear that sex workers have against reporting them. This unfortunately leads many sex workers into potentially unsafe situations. 72% of transgender sex workers have faced physical assaults, and sexual violence. 86% report being harassed, attacked, assaulted by the police. And even if they do go forward, it is far less likely that they will be believed. Reporting violence often leads to the arrest of the sex worker and not of the perpetrator of the violence. Sexual assault reports doubled in frequency in Scotland after they decided to outlaw solicitation in 2007. Decriminalization is the best and only way to ensure human rights are protected for sex workers. Thank you for watching Trans 101 with Rose Montoya.